but we're trying it all. We're doing all the things in this garden. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. Uh, lots has happened. So we decided to grow a garden this year. This year, as you can see from previous videos, we're going big this year. Um, I have never gardened to this scale before. So it is going to be very new to me. We have tons of plants and I wanted to start a video on starting the seeds. I might do that next year because <laughs> we have already started a lot of the seeds and I will link all the places I have bought seeds from because I have bought um, seeds from about three or four different places. So I just want to show you guys what we have going on here. Uh, so this tree here is all of my peppers. I have them all labeled back there. We have um, ring of fire peppers, which are going to be hot for like, uh, we're going to try and make our own hot sauce and stuff like that. So anything that we want to add some hot uh, peppers to, I do want to dehydrate them and maybe do like some like pepper like red pepper flake kind of things with the ring of fire um we have sensation which are just yellow peppers we have cali wonder which were at the time the only green slash red pepper variety that i could get anywhere uh, so i bought that and because it came with so many seeds i didn't bother buying another kind so we'll see how well cali wonder does in um in our garden I've heard mixed reviews on it, no idea. Um, and then these here are the tomatoes and we have uh, Roma tomatoes. And then we have, let's see if I can, okay. So we have Roma tomatoes here, uh, which are just a, like a paste tomato. We have in this row here are uh, Cobra, which are like your round slicing. Uh, they're not as big as beef steak. They're smaller, but they're bigger than your cherry or grape tomatoes. Um, and then we have, I think they're called Esterina. So those are the cherry tomatoes I'm growing. Then we have something called Sunrise Sauce, which is like an orangey tomato. And I'm going to make sure when I harvest them, I'm going to keep the Sunrise Sauce separate just so I can make um, sauces out of just that kind. So it's kind of more orangey than red. And then we have uh, more Roma. And then here, I have started some nasturtiums, um, so that way it can bring in good bugs and pollinators into the garden to eat the bad things that might attack, um, like the plants and stuff. Um, but back here, we have apple seeds. I was like, oh, I'll start a couple of apple seeds. And when I cut into the core of those apple seeds, they were already sprouting. And now I have tried time and time again to sprout and germinate apple seeds. Never, never has it worked. And so I think I got like 32 seeds and literally like all of them have sprouted this time. I don't know what was up, but now we have, um, I think they're Ambrosa apples. They've sprouted. So that's kind of fun. Um, so we have onions here. Uh, so funny story on that too is that um, the other flats of onions we have here and we have over here I've never grown onions before and what was happening is they were getting like super tall I didn't know what to do with them so I just transplanted I want to say like 25 of them and I was like okay, I'm gonna do an experiment see how well they do in these red solo cups versus just keeping them in these flats I don't know what to do with them, honestly. I'm waiting for them to get maybe a little bit bigger and then I'll transplant the rest of them into red solo cups or do I just leave them here? I don't know, I'm gonna have to do more research, but um, the ones that I've left in the flats are actually getting thicker and bigger faster. I think they're healthier than the ones in the red solo cups. So it was a cool experiment though. So some of them are good, some of them are kind of spindly, but I did learn you just trim it. So when they get like super tall, you just kind of cut the part down to like two to four inches or something. I'm not an expert, I'm not claiming to be an expert. This is just what I've read. Uh, so every time the greens get too tall, I just take uh, scissors and I trim them up. Um, 
the two varieties I am growing are, I'm gonna say this wrong, like Kelsey or Kelsey, because my name is Kelsey, and I was like, oh cool, there's Kelsey onions, kind of. Uh, so I chose those, and Patterson. Um, both are supposed to store well, store well, apparently the Kelsey, I'm gonna just call them Kelsey, they're Kelsey onions. Anyway, apparently they have like a world record for like growing the biggest onion, so I thought that was a good variety to pick for that reason as well. Um, so we have those onions. Oh, and there's leeks down there. Cannot tell them apart. Did not label them. So that's going to be a fun surprise when we go to, um, plant them out in the garden. And then, so here I have, that is an entire flat of San Marzano tomatoes. I ordered three packages because I didn't think that a lot of peppers were going to like seeds were going to come in the packets. Um, yeah, it came with like 150 per packet, so I decided to just plant them all, and whatever plants we have left over, I'm just gonna let the boys sit out front on a table and just try and sell the plants to passing neighbors, and they can just keep the money for, uh, spending money for themselves if they want to do that. They thought it was a cool idea, I thought it was a cool idea, so they're, they're on board with it. Um, so here we have more nasturtiums. In the middle, we have marigolds, and then at the back, don't ask me what they are. I have no idea. Oh, so we have rosemary for two rows, and kale. Kale is the back row. So this is kale. We have rosemary. I only have I only have one plant of rosemary that's growing. Uh, oh, two two plants growing. Um, so that should be fun. These guys are strawberries and they're not, they're not doing well, kind of. Um, so this is one type of strawberry. This is another type of strawberry. And they're just kind of stunted. I don't really, like I've never grown strawberries from a seed before. Um, half of them have died from both varieties. Uh, I don't know which variety is which because I didn't label them. And yeah, they're just... They're just not doing well. I might just pull them out, throw them into red solo cups and see if they prosper more. Cause I mean, I've been trying to keep an eye on like underneath to see if any roots are coming down, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up with them. If you know, let me know in the comments. Cause I've never, it said to just start them early. Cause you might have a chance to be able to, um, like get berries off them the first year. If you start them ahead, like December, January, I started them in January and they've just kind of like, they've grown and then they kind of slow down and they grow and they slow down. Don't mind. Yeah. This is why we're renovating our house. Cause this is the issues we have run into in this house. So, um, it is a work in progress. Anyways, we have cauliflower and broccoli. So these three rows here are a mixture of cauliflower and broccoli. Then we have pepperoncini peppers and paprika peppers, or they're called paprika. Um, so that way I can make my own paprika um, by dehydrating them and then powderizing it. And then the pepperoncini is like a mildly hot pepper that I wanted to just add to like spaghetti sauces and stuff and just have dehydrated and flaked. And then I made potentially a very grievous error I have more seeds, so it's fine if this becomes a huge problem. But I got all excited because I ordered beans um, for like dry beans, like kidney beans, pinto beans, things like that, that I could can because the, the whole goal this year is to try and can up a lot of things that we buy at the grocery store. So like, um, like spaghetti sauce, diced tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, ketchup, pizza sauce, marinara sauce, beans. Anyways, so... Um, my grievous error. I planted a whole bunch of beans and then I was like, wait, beans grow fast. I did this the first time I ever started a garden. I started like bean plants and they were growing up my windowsill at our old house. It was pretty hilarious. I actually had beans growing inside and I could pull them off the plant and use them in our dinner. Um, and then I did it again. I forgot. But anyway, we've got, let me get the kinds. We have Jacob's cattle, chickpeas, pinto beans, Zenith or Zenith black beans. We have Dutch brown beans, red kidney beans, uh, chili de arbol beans. I'm so not saying that. Oh no, no. 
The chili de arbol are more um, hot pepper plants that I bought from the third company. And then I bought cayenne pepper as well. And then I also accidentally planted um, homesteader peas. So I have a feeling that the beans and the peas are going to go a little crazy and get uh, like grow really fast. If that's the case, I might just get a container of all of what I have, um, like one kind of bean, just put into a container to grow up a little trellis or TP kind of thing that I can get with sticks in the yard um, and just have them in containers. I have no idea. We'll see how this goes. That was just kind of what happened because I got a little overzealous planting the peppers and then I just planted them all. Um, so yeah, so that's what I've grown so far. Um, I think that's everything that I have to plant ahead of time in, in here. Um, the one thing I forgot, I'm doing potatoes and I didn't purchase like potato slips or anything. So what I have to actually go do today, because I think I'm running out of time, is to go buy organic potatoes from the grocery store and start my own potato slips, which I am going to actually, because I've never done this before, I have researched two types of ways to do it. Um, I'm getting mixed reviews on both, but um, I am going to post how I'm growing these potatoes on my channel for future reference for myself and for any of you that want to follow along and we'll see how this goes. But uh, we're actually going to be planting it in soil, uh, halfway like buried into soil and letting the shoots grow up and then clipping the shoots off and starting potato slips that way. Um, because I guess when you just kind of put them in water and let them grow, it could be slow and it's hit or miss. And um, I just don't, I don't want it to be hit or miss this year. I have like, oh, I have 20 feet of my garden dedicated to potatoes, which could definitely easily, if the potato slips don't work, I can throw peppers and tomatoes into those areas and I'll be fine because I'll just freeze and can the peppers and obviously with the tomatoes, I have an abundance of things to do with tomatoes, which is why I started so many potato plants because I need like pounds and pounds. I think when I calculated it, because I'm so technical like that, I think I calculated like 500 pounds of tomatoes, 300 cups of tomatoes and 48 tomatoes because of the different recipes. They did it different ways. Some of them are pounds, some of them are cups and one of them counted how many tomatoes you need to use. Um, so again, I am going to post how I preserve all those vegetables, but if the potatoes don't work, I don't get the slips going. Not a big deal because you can get potatoes fairly cheap at the grocery store when they're on sale. You can get the big 10 pound bags of potatoes, sometimes for less than $2. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that. It'd be nice to grow my own and be able to preserve my own because I want to do russet, um, like a Yukon gold type and then sweet potatoes. I wanted to do those three at least. I might branch into like the red potatoes. Um, but like I said, I have like 20 feet of my garden designated for potatoes on my garden planner that I use. And um, yeah, it would just really suck to have to try to figure out that whole area that might even involve like completely changing the layout of the garden because of how tall tomatoes plants grow and stuff if those don't work out. So, um, but we're trying it all. We're doing all the things in this garden. So um, we'll see how it goes. So this is what I've planted. Most of them I started, um, the onions I started, I think at the end of January or middle of January. Um, the strawberries I started at the start to middle of January from seed. Um, and then the rest I started around the start to the middle of March. Uh, were the rest of them. So, and I think those are all the things that I have to kind of start ahead of time for now. Like I said, with the garden, um, I use the garden planner from Farmer's Almanac and it actually tells you uh, when to start things, when to start them inside, when to directly sow them outside, and when you can expect to see a harvest um, with your stuff. So that's kind of what I go by. I look for, you know, very soon I'll be looking at if I need to start anything for the start of April. Um, but right now we're just waiting for the ground to thaw out. Uh, so follow along. I'm going to try my best to be uh, vlogging the garden series 
pretty regularly as much as I can. We are a household of four kids though with two adults and busy schedules. So I'm going to do my best to keep on a semi-regular routine. Um, I know I was doing it before and then I kind of fell off because editing does take a lot of time. And when you have young kids, you just want to try and spend as much time with them as possible. Um, well, when you have kids in general, uh, you want to try and spend as much time as possible with them. But the other huge issue was trying to get the younger two to bed without like me having to put them to bed. So we're kind of at that stage now. Jordana sleeps in her own crib. Joseph's like Josh is able to go and put Joseph to bed now. So I am actually able to finally have some evening time again. So I do have time to edit videos. So my evenings are now going to be filled with crocheting and um, editing videos, dealing with the garden, hanging out with the family, stuff like that. Um, so come follow along on the journey. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments in the comment section. Let me know, like, have you guys ever started a garden? What did you have success with? Do you have any helpful hints for me? Especially with like broccoli, cauliflower, like anything that is not a tomato or a pepper, because I've done those and I've done beans um, and they kind of just grow themselves. But everything else just is intimidating and terrifying. Um, and the other thing that I do need to do more research in, and if you guys know about, please let me know. Um, is kind of fighting off like um, I know one of the years I did tomatoes there was like the um, I think it's called like blossom and rot or something like that so just little tips and tricks on gardening because this is going to be a massive endeavor this year but I am planning on and the boys are totally on board with getting them out in the garden to help me so that they can also learn where their food comes from so follow along I hope you guys enjoy the ride it is going to be a very busy summer, but hopefully it's going to be fun and rewarding. Have a good day, guys.